Here's your nine to know. It's Wednesday, December 9th. Here are the nine stories before you head out the door today. Two Tulsa men are dead after a crash near Stroud. Troopers say the men were on State Highway 99 south of Stroud when a tire blew out and they left the road and crashed. A semi-fire causes a slight backup this morning on I-40 near Sunny Lane Boulevard. We have reached out to OHP for information on whether there were any injuries. And Metro Police investigating a suspicious death on the northwest side of the Metro. That first call came out as a bicyclist getting hit by a driver of a car near Northwest 10th and Rockwell. Investigators now say they are not sure how the bicyclist died. They are investigating. The Pottawatomie County Sheriff's Office says it's investigating one of its deputies who was arrested this week. Oklahoma City Police arrested Fugitive Task Force Commander David DeWitt on Monday on an assault and battery complaint. He has since bonded out of jail. Westmore High School says it's parting ways with its head football coach, Lorenzo Williams. The Booster Club is now encouraging the community to come out and support Coach Zoe at Monday's school board meeting. We reached out to Westmore Public Schools who say that he still teaches and coaches at the high school. The fourth Republican national debate is tonight at the University of Alabama. Those participating include Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, former Ambassador Nikki Haley, entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy, and former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. Well, CVS is changing how it prices drugs in the pharmacy. The chain says those changes will make cost more predictable for consumers. CBS also says this could lead to some savings starting next year. And the Oklahoma Wildlife Conservation Commission will hold a special meeting today. News 9 has learned they plan to discuss the executive director, J.D. Strong's employment. He's led the department since 2016. That meeting is at 1.30. We'll be there. And the Thunder on the road tonight down in Texas. That's right. The team will be in Houston to take on the Rockets. Tip off tonight, 7 p.m.